Hey YouTube, Leon here on a beautiful Sunday. Just hanging out waiting for my dad to get in town. He's got some business to tend to in Houston. So he's going to stop by and say hello. Smoking this John Keller corn cob pipe. He made it for me. Really stoked about that. I was hanging out with him last night actually on uh, Periscope. So if you haven't seen his Periscope channel, uh, I think he does it on the weekends. Uh, check it out. It's really fun. Wanted to make a quick video on two months smoking a pipe and the journey it's been thus far. The biggest difference for me has been my pipe collection. I started out with only one pipe and then I've got a video on it. It's like my second or third video, I'm not sure. But this Wessex Bristol, when I got it I was really stoked. I smoked it every day, two to three times a day, just no break. Used it, abused it, because it's all I had and just absolutely loved this pipe. The second one I got was this corn cob pipe. And let me tell you about this corn cob pipe. I saw a lot of videos before I even bought a pipe about people saying your first pipe should be a corn cob. Your first pipe should be a corn cob. Don't waste your money on a briar pipe at first. Well, I'm stubborn. And to me, the more expensive, the better. You're going to have a better experience. So I went out and got that little uh, Bristol, saved up for it. Got it right after Christmas, but after I got this corn cob, I'm going to have to agree with everybody else. This thing is absolutely awesome. Smoked beautifully. It's light. You don't have to worry about breaking it. Just what a great experience. What a great pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend this corn cob to any newbie out there who is contemplating smoking a pipe, wondering what they should do and how they should do it. Yeah, grab yourself a corn cob. It's cheap, under 10 bucks. Walgreens or local tobacco shop and you will not be disappointed. You're going to get just a, just to get a, as an experience as smoking out of a, a, a nice briar pipe. It's just really good smoke. The third pipe I received was just this past weekend and that's through John Keller. That's the one I'm smoking right now which is probably out. And the biggest difference between this one and this corn cob is the size. This thing's just a little poker. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, I love this pipe. It is so small. It is so light. It clinches so well. Man, you could throw this thing in your mouth, start turning the wrenches, start mowing the yard, doing whatever you got to do, and you don't even know it's there. It's just beyond convenient. The fourth pipe, which came the same weekend by the way, is this Chris Morgan Bones pipe. Isn't that beautiful? My goodness. This is my second briar pipe. Biggest difference between this one and my Wessex is the size and the weight. This little Chris Morgan pipe is so light it is absolutely beautiful. You get the best of both worlds. You get a nice briar pipe, but it's light. The other difference is uh, is the tip. That little ledge thing on the end, it's a lot bigger. It's just really comfortable to, to clinch. This one being a little bit heavier and a little bit smaller, it's just not as comfortable. Now we come to my last pipe, which I received a few days ago. Uh, Gabe from Gabe's Pipes custom made me a nose warmer poker holy shit look at that and I'm gonna tell you right now well let me say this first okay Stogie Farts his latest video he talked about how often he smokes a pipe which I was surprised it, it's not that often but he explains that the reason is he doesn't have a lot of time and he I'm assuming just really loves smoking the pipe so he just he wants to wait for that perfect moment where he actually has time to sit down and enjoy it and not just blaze through it in other words it's all about the experience and to me I can relate to that because I'm not into pipe smoking for the nicotine I'm in it for the experience I'm in it for the pleasure I get. I'm in it for how it calms me down, how I can reflect and contemplate things and just kind of slow my world down for a little bit. So it really is about the experience. 
This pipe is very much about the experience. I mean, I just feel like a badass. Gabe put out a video on the tip that he makes, which is quite different than everybody else's. Someone commented questioning whether or not you could clinch it very well. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it clinches great. Uh, the other thing is the tip. There's no ledge on the end of it, and it's really thick. It's a lot thicker than what I imagined it to be, but it's really comfortable to just sip on. Just a completely different experience than the other pipe, which is a good thing, right? Why do you want a pipe that smokes exactly like your other pipes? So I'm just thoroughly enjoying this pipe, and I cannot wait to smoke more of it. So that's my pipe collection so far, and I'm really enjoying learning the different nuances between each pipe, how it smokes, between, you know, my briar pipe, my corncob pipe. This Gabe's pipe is actually made out of maple. And uh, just learning those differences is, uh, is really fun. As far as tobacco goes, I really haven't developed a palate yet. I can't tell really one from the other. You know, it's been really new to me. I have a huge selection now of really small samples that people have gifted me between John Keller, Mesquiter, Big Jake, uh, some people at the Houston Pipe Club that I met up with last weekend. But that's the fun part, man, just really developing that palate and really getting into the different tobaccos, the different cuts, the different you know, flavors, the different leaves. I mean, so much to do, right? I want to give my thoughts and prayers to Hillman, a guy I watch on YouTube all the time. He doesn't know me, but I feel like I know him because I've seen so many of his videos. He's got some health concerns. I just want to know, brother, I'm praying for you, and I uh, hope you get to feeling better soon. Everybody else out there, looking forward to seeing your videos. Keep it real. Happy smokes, everybody. Thanks.